Hi there. I'm here today with my friend Debbie Lipsky, who's a licensed massage therapist. So she's going to teach us how to do abdominal self-massage. Why would you want to do abdominal self-massage? Well, it can be really helpful to relieve a lot of different digestive discomfort that you might be experiencing, such as constipation, uh, loose stools, gas, bloating, or just general digestive discomfort and distress that you might be feeling. So what Debbie's going to do is teach us some different techniques that you can do at home uh, to help move things through your colon um, more smoothly. Thank you, Debbie. Uh, so there are two ways you can do the abdominal self-massage. You can do it either seated, whether you're in the bathroom trying to eliminate waste, or you can lay down and get comfortable with your knees bent and just relax and do some of the techniques I'm about to show you. So first, uh, I'll do the laying down demonstration. So what you're going to do is you're going to lay on your back, get comfortable. I'm going to, you can work either over your clothes or underneath. I'm going to show you, just pull my shirt up and demonstrate so you can get a better idea of where I'm working. And you could do this with or without lotion or oil. I'm going to do it without today. So what we're going to do is work with the large intestine and that basically starts in the inside of your right hip and it comes up, up just underneath your rib. We're going to go across to the underneath the left rib and then we're going to work down towards the inside of the left hip and then towards the midline again. So first, the first technique I'm going to show you is um, just some small circles with one hand over the other using your fingertips. Some people like to use the palm of their hand. Um, some people like to use their knuckles. I prefer just fingertips. It's most comfortable for me. And we're not going to use a lot of pressure. We're going to start maybe an inch or two inside of the right hip. And we're just going to do some small circles. We're going to work in a clockwise motion, which is how your intestine basically eliminates waste. So we're going to work up the ascending colon, just doing a few circles in one spot and moving in that clockwise direction. Then we're going to go across the transverse colon, staying underneath the rib cage, and then we're going to move down the descending colon, just doing some small circles. You don't have to move very fast, just nice, easy circles. And then we're going to work the sigmoid colon towards where the rectum is. You can go back and do that same technique however many times you feel like. You generally want to do abdominal massage for about 5-10 minutes just to get things nice and relaxed and loose for things to move a little easier through your colon. So we do that. Another technique you can do, you start again on the right side, is just some smooth strokes working clockwise motion again up the ascending colon across the transverse colon and then down again not using a whole lot of pressure just working down the descending colon to the inside of that left hip and across the sigmoid towards the rectum and again you can do that two or three more times however many times you like and another technique you can do is a little more vibration action. Sometimes when you feel a blockage in your colon or a tight area, this helps to loosen that up a little more, just stimulate the colon to work a little more efficiently. So again, doing these movements in a clockwise direction. You don't have to stay in one spot too long. If you find a spot that feels like it needs a little more attention, you can stay there and just shake it back and forth, sideways, up and down just working all around in a clockwise direction again. And then last, you could do some big circles, starting again on the right side of the hip, working up in that clockwise direction, across and down, just to feel if there's any more areas in the colon that need to be worked that might be a little blocked. So we do that. And you can go back to any of the techniques I've shown you. You can just mix and match, however, whatever is most comfortable for you. And at the end, 
you just want to place one hand on top of your abdomen and the other one on top of your hand just to feel a little more relaxed and centered and grounded and just help your body relax and bring some blood flow to the area and some heat. So that's the lying down position. You can also do a seated position if you're in the bathroom or even if you're just watching TV and you feel like you're constipated or feeling just some discomfort. You want to grab a stool, just something to bring your legs up a little more, bending your knees, bending your legs at the hips, and that makes, just makes it easier for your colon to relax and move things a little bit more. And doing those same techniques I showed you with the circles, clockwise motion, you can do the long strokes, moving around the colon, the shaking movement, and then the nice big circles at the end, and just placing the hands on top. So just use your intuition with the pressure and with wherever you're working. It's not really difficult, just working that clockwise motion it just aids the colon to work a little more efficiently. So thank you for watching and hope this helps.